It was a unanimous vote over the weekend by lawmakers in Arlington County that will soon bring the wrecking ball to one of the area's most intriguing yet little visited attractions. An underground parking garage in Roslyn that played a major role in the downfall of President Richard Nixon. How so? Well, here's Fox 5's Bob Barnard. Just follow the money. It's one of the iconic scenes in All the President's Men, and in real life, that meeting between the Washington Post's Bob Woodward and the FBI's number two official, Mark Felt, known for decades only as Deep Throat, happened here in this basement garage in Arlington County under 1401 Wilson Boulevard in Roslyn. I think it's pretty neat. I doubt too many people know about it, though, but uh, it, it's, uh, you know, it's history. I jogged past Watergate. <laughs> I didn't know that this is where they met. Now, the Arlington County Board has agreed to let the building and the historic garage beneath it be torn down in the name of redevelopment. Why did Woodward and Bernstein and Deep Throat decide to go there? It's because nobody went there after 5 o'clock at night. And honestly, that's not anybody's vision of what urban places should be anymore. Mary Hines is on the Arlington Board. We're trying to make this a place where people want to be 24-7. They want to live, they want to work, they want to play. These garages don't contribute to that one bit. In the movie, Robert Redford plays Woodward and Hal Holbrook Deep Throat. Felt is helping Woodward unravel the Watergate conspiracy of dirty tricks and cover-ups that brought down a president. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Forget the myths that the media has created about the White House. The truth is, these are not very bright guys and things got out of hand. Felt and Woodward met inside this garage six times during the Post reporting on Watergate. That was between October of 1972 and November of 73. Felt's true identity was kept secret for more than 30 years. Outside, next to the garage entrance, there is a historic marker telling the story of the site. And when the new office and commercial towers are built, still a few years away, county officials say that story will still be told. You just won't be able to retrace the actual steps of history anymore. With the ghost of Woodward and Deep Throat, Bob Barnard, Fox 5 Local News. Bob loves history. I know he loved being in that garage, too. Well, in a cable TV interview this afternoon, Bob Woodward said he had no sentimental attachment to the garage and he would not want its place in history to get into the way of progress. <laughs>